Hello, and uh, thanks for joining us at the Barnsley Chronicle, where I'm joined by uh, sports editor Doug O'Kane. We're going to look ahead to Barnsley's match against Derby this weekend. So, Doug, the big games just seem to keep on coming, don't they? Yeah, definitely. I mean, their, their mantra at Oakwell is every game is a big game, but you can't deny the fact that you know, fifth versus sixth at Oakwell, Barnsley having a chance to leapfrog uh, Derby, and obviously big, you know, big attendance expected, big atmosphere, you know, a few months from the end of the season, it's obviously it is a really huge game. They've obviously met each other twice already this season. It hasn't gone Barnsley's way yet, but uh, I suppose those games are in the past now. Yeah, they are. I mean, the, the one um, in the league in August, uh, I think you could see signs of Michael Dust Barnsley, especially in the second half. They conceded two silly goals in the first half, but they played really well after the break, in my opinion, deserved a draw. Very unlucky, really, not to get it. And you could, that was a, a day when I thought, and I think a few other people thought, oh, this, this Barnsley team, they've done really well against one of the favourites for promotion. Maybe they can do something this, this season. And then the FA Cup game. It was just a poor performance, whether it was because they were in the cup or, or not. Some silly individual errors from Matty Wolf and Jack Walton, who obviously won't be involved in the, in the, in the game on, on Saturday. And yeah, penalty and two, two sloppy goals. So I think you can probably ignore, ignore those two games, but maybe the league one uh, might give a bit, a bit of uh, promise that they, they can compete. And I think uh, it's a, probably a 50-50 game on Saturday. Yeah. I know Michael Duff's spoken about um, atmosphere or lack of. Uh, this season shouldn't really be any issues on Saturday. No derby and sold out their allocation. Um, and then, do you think the tide's turning a little bit? Oh well. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you play, praise the fans after Cambridge at home didn't the last home game. Obviously, that was a game where they had a man sent off early and the crowd really got behind them. So maybe it's changed. I think coming into the final straight now, aren't we? Uh, I think it's just taken a while for the fans to sort of get the word disconnected. It does get mentioned a lot, but I think there definitely was one after last season. Um, you know, it went obviously it went really badly. We don't need to dwell on that. Everyone knows, but it's taken a while for the team. Even though that I think the fans, you know, like the team and like the manager pretty much straight away to, to really sort of get get back into the loud support. And hopefully that will be the the case on on Saturday. Obviously, it kind of depends a bit on how the game goes. But if they give them something to cheer, I think it should be a decent atmosphere. Uh, you spoke with Michael Duff. What's the team news for, for Saturday? Yeah, I don't think there'll be any changes other than Nicky Cadden, whose partner gave birth over the weekend, so he missed the match at Cheltenham. Um, he's back in contention. He missed the first couple of games. It's a day, sorry, training this week, but he's been back the second half of the week, and he, he should be a available. Uh, whether uh, Duff decides to put him back in or, or stick with Ziad Larkesh, I, I guess it's a bit of a toss-up. I think probably Cadden will come back in because he's been the main left wing back this season, although Larkesh did play well at Cheltenham. And as ever, we've got four pack pages of sports in the Chronicle this weekend, which is available online and from all your usual news agents.